But first, I know you guys know this, for a week, you could become part of our family right here in our home and family kitchen, cooking up your very amazing home recipe in our kitchen at Universal Studios Hollywood. We've been receiving lots of really great entries, just like this one. Take a look. Hi, home and family. I'm Heather Short from San Diego, California. I would love to be your personal chef for a week. The last time I was on a cooking show was back in 1995. I was on Oprah Winfrey's Healthy Cooking Contest, and I came third place. Now, it's been 21 years, but I'm still cooking, and I still love to cook healthy. I'm in my kitchen now. I am making a Brazilian seafood stew. Tomato base with cilantro, onions, and coconut milk instead of cream. And I'm gonna be putting these shrimp and poaching the shrimp in the sauce, and then serving it with a turmeric rice. Again, my name is Heather Short. I'm from San Diego, California. Thank you for considering me. I look forward to being on the show. Very nice. Aww, she's a cute Very nice. She and seemed see, great. She Didn't does she? seem great. And you don't have to send in some fancy edited video with tons of graphics. Just show us your favorite dish. Tell us why it's so wonderful. We really want to see your personality and, and hear why you want to cook right here on Home and Family. And besides getting to come here and cook for us for a solid week, you also get $1,500. The grand prize oh, winner does. That's really great, right? And if we like you and your food and your personality enough, who knows, you might just become a, a, a family member for life. Maybe we'll adopt you. All you have to do is go to dreamjobbing.com forward slash home and family and submit a 60 second video or less. You don't got to be on Oprah. Well, nope, you, you don't, don't, gotta don't gotta have to be on Oprah. But I'll tell but you, um, uh, some of us, mostly me probably, don't know what to make of tofu. And, and Dan, uh, there's a science involved. I didn't know there was science in my food, but maybe you can kind of enlighten Listen, us. You'll learn quickly with me. There's science behind everything we eat. Okay. But the truth is, the first time I was served tofu, too, I felt like I was really confused confused by it, and I don't really know, I think a lot of people around the country are confused what they're looking at, this beige cube. So I thought today we would demystify it and help explain to you at home why it's such a great protein for you to use. You know, I, I'm about to ask you a question, why is tofu not embraced more? But when you said beige cube, <laughs> it just did not sound tantalizing. <laughs> there you go. But I, I want to bring in some of the food that we're eating today, because I think this will help you understand why we should be embracing it more. Okay. And we've actually got a graphic here that we're going to bring up that compares the nutrition between chicken oh, and tofu. You. So you can see at home that uh, tofu actually has less calories than chicken. It has more iron and more calcium, and it's got zero cholesterol. Mm. And this is something that you've got to remember has been eaten around the world for centuries. And you're no gonna, animal you're gonna, was murdered. Exactly. Oh. And you're gonna uh, you're gonna make this from scratch. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show you how it actually comes to, into being. So it all starts with these, which are dried soybeans. Now you've got to soak the beans overnight. This first process is about making soy milk. You soak the beans, and all of a sudden you've got this. They're much hydrated. They're, they're about twice the size you can see already. Now I take this entire bowl and I dump it yep. in a food processor and I blend it up with that water, and that is what I have right here. This is fresh soy milk, you can Dan, see. I got a question. Go for when it. When I go to the sushi bar and I get edamame, that's soybeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are green, and it comes in a little green bean pod and stuff. How does it, is that the same thing we're talking about here? Yeah, you can green. see them right here. So right here, I've got, I've got a green soybean and a dried soybean. As they dry, they actually lose some of that chlorophyll. Oh, okay. It colors it. And, it, and the same thing happens with uh, garbanzo beans, which we mostly know as this color. They are yeah. green in the wild. Oh, okay. So, after you've got the milk made, and you all have some fresh soy milk in front of you, which I want you to try because it's, it's remarkably different from the kind of soy milk we're used to getting. Here's where the real chemistry project comes in. What you need to use is a coagulant here. So I've got either um, magnesium chloride, calcium sulfate, and or Epsom salts. These are naturally occurring salts, and what happens when you add these to a soy milk, it's the same thing that happens when you make ricotta. So it, it makes all those proteins that are bunched up like fists, they unspool, Sorry. and then they lock together. So let me show you that. I've got some hot soy milk over here, mm. and this is that magnesium chloride. It's called nigari, and I just got it dissolved in some water. It really has such a mild taste. Yes. It's not offensive at all. Yes. I thought I was going to have to choke it down, but it's fine. It's, it's she loves it. Here, look. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, stir that oh, nigari yeah, in, oh, and within about 15 minutes, actually, you can see yeah. these proteins completely curdle. <laughs> so you go from this pot to this pot in 15 minutes. I love and it. this 
<laughs> is the curdled soy milk. And these are the things you actually strain out. This is kind of the amazing process with tofu. So you strain these out. <laughs> and you just put it in one of these boxes with cheesecloth or muslin, anything that's very fine, and you're gonna press it. Now you'll see over here, we've got a big display of tofu. It comes in textures from soft all the way to extra firm, and that really uh, amounts to how much liquid you are pressing out. And you can see here, I've had one that's resting for a little bit, and so this is a fresh block of tofu. Now is that one soft or hard? This is about medium firmness. Now the so thing that you've got right there. Can you just use like store-bought Soy milk? Yeah, if you oh, want to yeah, skip sure. this process, you can actually start here, but you want to look for soy milk that has two ingredients, soybeans and water. It shouldn't have any thickeners, it shouldn't have any sweeteners. Won't the animal agriculture people get mad if we don't buy meat? <laughs> Perhaps. Yes, yes they will. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Now the, the dish that you're eating is called dofu fa, so if I don't press any water out of this, what I have actually mm. is right here. This is fresh tofu that's just been set in the pan with, mm -hmm. uh, with that calcium sulfate, it's called gypsum, and it's very fresh, it's soft tofu, and this is eaten throughout Japan and China, and sometimes it's eaten with a sweet sauce, which I think you have a, a ginger and sesame, yeah. and sometimes it's savory with uh, bonito and soy. How long does this take to make? It seems like a really long process. Mm. If you start with the soy milk, this is 15 minutes. That's oh, it? Yeah. Nice. To wow. make this, in this texture? Yeah, so if I, if I don't press any of this out, the difference between these two pots, this one, we've allowed it to curdle and we press it, this one I've just stirred it through. If I don't mix it anymore and I just put a lid on it, 15 minutes later, you will have fresh tofu, just like this. I gotta be honest with you, I think one of the reasons that tofu gets the bad rap is because people eat the soft tofu. Yeah. I think it's the texture. Okay. I believe the hard, the more firm tofu, like that right there, this one right here. and the extra firm tofu is easier for the palate to accept for yes. some reason. Agreed. There. Where can we Agreed. find tofu fa? You know, this is the sort of thing, actually, if, you, if you've got a Chinatown in any of your cities at home, mm -hmm. this is the sort of thing that's being sold on the streets. You can find it in a big steaming vat. It's delicious. Mm. All right, for mm -hmm. these complete recipes, just go to our website. Mmm, mmm, good stuff. Up next, more tofu and more from the family. Here, I think you should eat this whole thing.